Since Pat Gelsinger was appointed as the new CEO of Intel, the world's largest semiconductor manufacturer has been pitching investment plans to the U.S. and countries in Europe to set up fabrication plants amid the global chip shortage. Experts say Intel's initiative seems to be aimed at overtaking TSMC's place as the world's largest chip supplier. Though its manufacturing technology still lag behind Asian players such as TSMC and Samsung, Intel is still a force to be reckoned with on the semiconductor manufacturing landscape. Since appointed Intel CEO at the beginning of the year, Pat Gelsinger had laid out new ambitions for the company. According to the Wall Street Journal, he and his board members met with members of the Biden administration in July, pitching an investment plan worth billions of U.S. dollars. Before the end of the month, the company is expected to announce potential places to set up fabs in a bid to gain government incentives. The world needs a balanced supply chain available across the world. Intel is stepping into that need with major expansions in our U.S. and European efforts to deliver leading semiconductor technologies at manufacturing scale across the U.S., Europe, and available to our global customers. We can see that Intel is endeavoring to rise back up to the top as the world leader in semiconductor technology. It is quite clear that the company's actions are aimed at TSMC. The chip shortage has exposed the vulnerability of the global supply chain, and Intel has seized the opportunity to pitch investment plans to the U.S. and European countries, seeking government incentives from countries around the world. The company announced a plan to further invest 10 billion U.S. dollars globally and hopes that in 10 years the U.S.'s market share in computer chips will reach 30 percent and 20 percent in Europe. However, experts say Intel's recent actions are more talk than substance. Intel and TSMC's relationship will become one of delicate and odd cooperation, mainly because Intel's recent manufacturing technologies are still lagging behind TSMC. The latter will help Intel mass produce its core products using the latest manufacturing process. Gelsinger had once pledged to cash up to TSMC's technology in four years. Experts believe that Intel has set its sights on advancing wafer original equipment manufacturing and production processes. With the U.S. government's initiative to invest $52 billion U.S. billion in the next five years to support America's semiconductor industry, Intel will likely become a contender for the top spot that TSMC currently occupies.